Hi, this is Terry McClellan from McClellan Window Art and Signs, Grass Valley, California, Northern California. This is where I live, and it's not hard to look at. It's beautiful here. I thought I would share with you today what I take in my truck, which is a lot. And in fact, I just got rained on really bad. But I'm a Girl Scout, used to be a Girl Scout, and they say be prepared. So I have a lot of everything. I have foam brushes, foam stamps, foam rollers. These are just in case I have little tiny lettering that I want to do real fast. Yeah, your scissors, all that. And the foam rollers. I love four inch foam rollers. Four inch foam rollers, two inch rollers. Any kind of foam rollers, those are the ticket to smooth paint. Really, really like my smooth paint. I take my stool, my window washing equipment, and this time my truck got really, really wet. These are my containers that have the paint in them. And I always use these little plastic containers, either rubber made with the flip top lids, or I got some of these at the thrift store, and they have color coordinated lids, which are kind of cool. And the only maintenance that you have to do on these sometimes is to take a little paint thing and scrape out the lid a little bit like that so that this goes back on there. Paper plates are what I paint with all the time. I put them in a little basket or a paper plate holder, frisbee, and use the roller, roll it on there, off you go. You can use the paper plate several times, all day long really, and you can do multiple colors. Um, I have my paint things. I have my business cards in a little mailbox. There's my business card, and I'm kind of proud of that, I designed that. And then paints you can get, you know, for real cheap, like mist tents or things that they've got 50% off. Everybody's been talking about that. It's a good deal. This is my Floetrol, which I use when I am outlining. I love this. I just use a little tiny bit with the paint, rub your brush in it, you know, a little bit, pallet it back and forth, and take off. Squeegee off. Uh, professional window cleaner. I love this stuff. You put about a teaspoon or two teaspoons in that much water in a bucket, wet your window all down, use your four inch blade. I use a few acrylics for just some heavy accent colors. This is what I like a lot is for washing out brushes, I use two different containers. One is for really dark paint, one is for white only. So if you're outlining a lot of white, you rinse your brush out in here really well and then put it in your paint container. And this is my paint container that I like because I'm really particular about keeping my flats flat. So in this container, you have the little small paint tray and you put the paint tray in there with a little bit of water so that your brushes never dry out. After you clean them, you put them in here, they don't dry out, they just work really, really well. And I use all kinds of different brushes, fan brushes, little brushes for eyeballs, you know, just all kinds of different brushes. But my flats are key. I have a lot of those. Other things fit down in here. Little polka dot items. This is an old M&M container. And I actually use old clothespins. And you can cut these off shorter if you want. And I put the little felt dots on there. Wait till you see my dots. I'll show you my dots. You'll think I'm nuts. I use this for outline. It's like a carpenter crayon. I've been using that just recently. I use chalk. Sidewalk chalk is one of my favorites. It puts, you gotta watch because the outline's, you know, bigger. But sidewalk chalk works really great. I tried this, but it's not very good. Chalky. Carries the black bags, things to stir the paint. This is my roller tray, and I always put my four inch rollers in quart size baggies. They stay for months in there, literally months. Keep them protected from getting squished, but these will stay for a long, long time, and I have all different colors, and you can 
have as many as you want or as little as you want my chalk container I've been trying the new glass chalk but I've read that you've got to be really really careful with rain on it because it'll just wash right off but I did outline some hearts with it the other day this is my favorite tool in the trade Tombow pens these things are so awesome when you get done with a painted job you can take one of these and it has a very 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 soft tip on it like a felt tip and you can outline your face on your character or whatever you want to do very lightly with like a light gray before you go in and put on hard black and you've got your face all figured out with that and that's the best thing I found since Christmas this is my other secret little weapon for snowmen regular blush at the dollar store and you put it on the snowman's cheeks and they have rosy cheeks and everything is all good this is my razor blades that I use four inch with a nice handle on them I have another brand as well but the four inch handle is or not the four inch handle I guess it is four inches the handle on them is really nice this is all plastic so it will never scratch your glass I always put my used razor blades in a container so that nobody gets cut or you don't accidentally take your finger and I have my extra flats in a really nice little thing here so that they don't get damaged and I was going to tell everyone the numbers of my flats but I don't even know if you can read the numbers on them I think they're that one says 2962 so 2962 by Mac and that may be an old number because I got these brushes a lot of years ago I mean long 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 time ago these are fabulous for three you know one inch outlines or bigger and with a Mac everybody has trouble with these when they first start but you have to practice and practice and practice once you load your brush you set it down on your surface and you actually kind of wiggle it a little bit and get it set and then you drag this long line and they drag beautiful lines the other thing I should say is with a Mac that people don't know is when you're going around an O you actually use your knuckles or your fingers to twist the brush just a little bit to keep the brush flat so you want it flat so if you start going and your brush goes all cockeyed you turn your fingers a little bit with it hard to explain this is not the perfect video for this winds blowing like crazy so those are the max so I keep them like nice I use a lot of aids different brushes highlighters stamps I carry this for Valentine's so that I can have ideas for my hearts because sometimes my brain just doesn't come out with really really fun things so I got these and they're like little stickers and I just put them in a book you can do anything like that for artwork for shortcuts I use stamps a lot of people don't but at Christmas I was spending so much time doing snowflakes I finally found foam stamps you take a roller you simply roll the paint on there very nicely put it on the wall and you press it onto the wall I always put three fingers behind it here so that it stamps evenly but I absolutely love my stamps I also hand paint snowflakes so that you can trick it out and make it look like they got their money's worth I also use a flower stamp like I did that on the Valentine's window and then you can go back in with a little bit of color on the petals and do the centers uh, years ago I found these for snowflakes that were pretty great you can just use a roller and just roll the snowflake on shortcuts lots of shortcuts because time is money that's one of my flowers I do lots of and you know I do mostly all hand painted but every once in a while I'll kick out those I'm really really big into dots dots are one of my favorite things at Christmas time doing all kinds of dots I found these containers left over at the hospital and all my little dots go into these and live in these and I have really great snowflake stamps better than anyone 
ever. And it's a secret little thing I have. If anybody wants one of those, you have to call me. So these are another thing that I just discovered. Dot art. And I think they actually use these for bingo. But when I do stockings or something like that, you just take these and you just go like that on the paint. And once, once the ink actually comes in, you can actually, on white or light colors, you can actually get some really cool polka dots. So yeah, I drag a bunch of stuff around, but I have to be prepared when I go to my windows. The other thing I use are aids. If I'm gonna do really big window lettering, I use something like this or a piece of cardboard, you know, to lay down a really nice straight edge. I use things for hearts because it drives me nuts when my hearts aren't even. So I'll put this up to the window and just draw a really quick heart. I have heart stamps. I have. I found these all at thrift stores. I have our dollar store. I have a heart with edges. And so I do use templates, especially on Valentine's, because I really like different hearts. I can paint hearts all day long, but I really like templates. I'm big into templates. So I take those along and then throw all your hearts, big hearts where you want them, hand paint all your small hearts. Same with Christmas windows. Everything's mostly all hand painted, but this is my gear. My truck got soaking wet this last time I took my paints out, so the sheet's really, really wet. But I lay down a plastic and then I put my sheet down and then I bring the sheet back over and wrap everything up and clamp it so that doesn't go anywhere. This is my gear. It takes me a lot to get it ready, but I tell you, I like what I have. I just wish that my van worked. It's broken over in the corner over there. And this is me. Thanks, you guys. Have a wonderful, beautiful day.